Now on paper, the Redmi Note 13 Pro seems to have better cameras with a 200 meg. 200 meg. <laughs> Okay, let me start by telling you guys two reasons why I find this comparison to be very interesting. Firstly, these two phones have the same processor, but different names. Like, how often do you get to see or hear about that? And secondly, these two phones have very similar features, but different prices in the market. In fact, the difference in price between these two phones is about 70,000 Naira. So the question now is this 70k in question. Should we save it or spend it? Well, let's find out. Now, before I tell you guys what you get in the box of both phones, let's address the issue of the price. The Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage currently sells at about 330,000 Naira or $225. Why the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G with the same 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage is selling for about 408,000 Naira? That is $275. Now, for my Nigeria audience, you will notice that I said at least when talking about their prices. And this is because by the time you are watching this video, the prices may have gone up or down depending on exchange rate. Now let's talk about what you get in the boxes of both phones. Both phones comes with a number of accessories in the box, but the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus gives you a little bit more. You get a screen guard and a Type-C wired headphone, both of which you don't get in the box of the Redmi Note 13 Pro. And depending on who is using the phone, they may or may not be very important. But at least we must declare a winner in this first round, and that goes to the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus. This round for me will be a tie and that's because design will always be subjective. Now, when you take a look at the design of these two phones, you discover that they are both nice and cool. But personally, I will lean towards the Redmi design as my favorite because there is no camera bump, but the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus is also very cool when it comes to its design. The way the curved display sits on the back seamlessly, hence making it very comfortable to hold, is a design that has to be appreciated. However, in terms of build quality, the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus has a plastic rear with a matte finishing. So there are no fingerprints or smudges sticking around when you touch the back of the phone. Which is very good for those of us who don't like to use cases with our phones. But the Redmi Note 13 Pro gives you a bit of better quality in that the rear is made of glass. The midnight color that I have here has a glossy finishing, so you will expect some dust and fingerprint smudges on it after some hours of use. So I would advise you get other colors because they have a matte finishing, hence they are way easier to use or manage. But do you agree with me that this round is a tie? I would like to have your thoughts in the comment section below. In this segment, I want to talk about what you get in one phone that you don't get in the other. For example, the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus have an IP53 water and dust rating, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro is IP54 rated, so it is slightly better in handling dust and water splashes. Secondly, both phones have an under-display optical fingerprint sensor and it is pretty fast when you are opening your phone using this method. Thirdly, both phones have dual stereo speakers and trust me, the audio quality is very good and rich, but I think I prefer the audio from the Redmi Note 13 Pro because it just sounds a tad better and richer than the audio from the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus. And fourthly, in terms of connectivity, both phones support dual nano SIM card, which is basic, but the Redmi Note 13 Pro SIM card tray allows you to choose between a SIM and a memory card for storage expansion, but you can't do that with the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus. And lastly, we also have the signature IRO blaster in the Redmi Note 13 Pro, which has a very important use case when it comes to controlling your electronic devices at home. Now, once again, both phones offer you a 5000 mAh battery inside it, which is kind of standard for most smartphones nowadays. And like we have already established, it should take you very long depending on how you use your phone. 
And also the processors that we have in these two phones does very well when it comes to battery efficiency management. So where we should actually look at is how fast can you recharge your phone when it is down? And there is where the Redmi Note 13 Pro excels. We did 67 watts charger in the box. Charging the phone from zero to 100% took just a little over 50 minutes, which is six minutes longer than the 44 minutes advertised by Xiaomi, but it's still pretty fast, yeah? On the other hand, the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus gives you a 33 watt fast charger in the box, and it takes about 75 minutes to get your phone from zero to 100%. So in this round, the winner is obvious. It is a Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G. Now, when it comes to the display, both phones came really prepared. They both have a 1080p 120Hz AMOLED display. That means you get really sharp and colorfully balanced and vibrant videos when you are watching video content on both phones. But you have a choice to make. Would you prefer the curved AMOLED display that we have in the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus or would you prefer the flat AMOLED display that we have in the Redmi Note 13 Pro? The display of both phones are also protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 from scratches and dents and usage outdoors for both phones is it a problem for neither of them. So if display is your thing or your biggest concern when you are deciding which of these two phones to go for, then any of them would do. In this round for me, it's a tie. Now remember in the intro of this video I said one interesting thing about these two phones is that they have the same processor but different names. And that is because both manufacturers took the Helio G99 processor and tweaked it to suit their phones. And since they are allowed, they gave it different names. So we have the Helio G99 Ultimate in the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus and the Helio G99 Ultra in the Redmi Note 13 Pro. Now, Geekbench 6 score shows that the G99 Ultimate is better in numbers than the Ultra. But during my usage, I didn't get to see any difference in terms of how much that both processors can handle. Both phones were able to handle games like Asphalt Night smoothly. There was no lags or drawbacks during the gameplay. And also because you get 8 gigs of extended RAM on both phones, you can be sure of smooth performance and reliability when using any of them. So in terms of performance, there really shouldn't be a long story. It's actually a tie. Now, honestly, at this point, kindly hit on the subscribe button because you obviously like what we are doing on this channel and also like this video so that more people actually get to see it. Thank you. Now, what about if you want to buy any of these two phones and use them for say two years, three years or even more? Then you need to go with the one that actually gives you longer years of software support because you would need it to keep your phone fully optimized and running properly. So which of them should you go for? Well, any of them would be fine. That is because both phones promised two years of software support. But then I'll prefer you go for the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus because it comes out of the box with Android 14. So two years of software support will mean you will be getting Android version 15 and 16. But on the other hand, the Redmi Note 13 Pro comes out of the box with Android 13. So two years of software support means you will be getting version 14 and 15. You get it? Now there are a few things that makes a camera good, yeah? Like how it processes colors, consistency in image processing, how it handles dynamic range, and a lot of other things. Now on paper, the cameras of the Redmi Note 13 Pro seems to be better because it comes with a 200 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel macro lens. Compared to the 108 megapixel main camera we have in the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus, along with the 2 megapixel macro cameras. Now, firstly, the image processing of the Redmi Note 13 Pro wasn't really consistent when I checked the cameras out most times as you can see in this picture you are looking at right now i didn't get to see such inconsistency with the techno spark 20 pro plus then when i compare the pictures taken by the main cameras of both phones the techno spark 20 pro plus pictures came out clearer and sharper color processing and hdr was also better in the techno spark 20 pro plus 
Now, when it comes to portrait pictures, the Redmi Note 13 Pro also appeared a little oversaturated. It just didn't appear appealing to my eyes like those taken by the Tech News Pack 20 Pro Plus. Now, here are some examples. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. In video mode, you also get better quality with the Tech News Pack 20 Pro Plus because you can shoot up to 2K at 30 frames per second. But for the Redmi Note 13 Pro, it is capped at 1080 pixel at 30 frames per second. It is the same story with the selfie cameras of both phones. Now, while the Redmi Note 13 Pro offers a 16 megapixel sensor, the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus is double that. And when you look at the selfies from both phones, I think I'll pick the Technos Pack 20 Pro Plus selfies over those taken by the Redmi Note 13 Pro because it just appears a little more saturated. So let's state the fact here. Even though the Redmi Note 13 Pro has better camera specifications on paper, but when it comes to how these cameras actually function, the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus is obviously a better choice. Honestly, I am super impressed with the Techno Spark 20 Pro Plus. In almost every aspect that we have talked about, it is either in par or better than the Redmi Note 13 Pro, except in aspects like fast charging, where you actually get faster charging with the Redmi Note 13 Pro. But if you look at the grand scheme of things, honestly, that is a bit negligible. So what do you think about the almost 75,000 naira difference between these two phones? Just comment save or spend in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like or subscribe to the channel please for so that more people get to see videos like this one. I'll see you when you see me. Thank you.